It is undefeated Raymond Ford, 7-0. and oh, He's only 21 years old, a former national amateur champion, going up against Juan Antonio Lopez. 5'7 versus 5'6. The reach is the same, but the speed is quite different. Lopez coming off an upset win in good position to challenge here, but Raymond Ford is a special, special talent. He, Mayweather, you know what reminds me of it is Floyd Mayweather. I know people will throw that away every time someone does either a shoulder roll or they show a lot of promise in the ring. But Ford's body, the way it acts beautifully in concert, top and bottom with each other, that's what reminds me of Floyd. He is springy and sharp, everything acting in unison and for great effect. Springy, I like that. It, it's reflex, you know, it, it's just it's, 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 it's beautiful shots right there down the middle. It's, he knows how to react and counter really fast. It's, it's quick thinking, quick on his feet, quick on their hands. And hard shots too, Sergio. He's not just like throwing a, a, you know, a feather duster out there. He will throw hard shots back. You know, when he started his, his career, he wasn't knocking out people, but he's evolving into that. And every time I see him, and the more active he is, the more he's gonna find his power. And he's gonna close the range, and we can see him getting really aggressive, overly aggressive here forward, because he knows that he's that he's uh, that, that he has the lead on him. And Juan Antonio Lopez, an amateur star in his own right, 70 and three in the amateur ranks, won several national tournaments and was actually getting ready to fight in the National Golden Gloves, but he was not a U.S. citizen. He is here with the DACA program, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, and that's the Dreamers that you've heard so much about in recent years. And so he was not allowed to compete in the National Golden Gloves, but he had a tremendous amateur career. And you can see, oh, that's a hard left hand. The hook came inside and rattled Lopez. He shakes his head, but he was hurt. Oh, got caught with oh, and another one, and down he goes. Oh, Has to take a knee. A Three, quick right hook from Raymond Ford four, again. Five, six, seven, eight. Give me a hand. Watch for the right hook, Brian. Final Five. seconds now. Lopez probably has just enough time. He was able to clear his head, but a knockdown in round one. And even against an experienced man, Raymond Ford, exceptionally impressive. <laughs> Good hard shot there by Lopez. Trying to have his moment here in this fight. Yeah, Calzaghi suffocated you with punching. I mean, he just was relentless with the output. Uh, when it comes to Ford, you know, he's very, he, he doesn't throw as many punches, but they're really sharp. Everything's, everything's really laser sharp. You know, and it's, it's part of the equation later on as well is that there is some UK bias. When Joe Calzaghi fought Jeff Lacey, Lacey was favored in that fight. Calzaghi won going away. That's when he won the uh, Ring Magazine Super Middleweight Championship. He'd had the belt for years and years in the WBO. But it's the same sort of thing tonight, sir. Joe Callum Smith, a lot of people coming in saying, all right, this guy was good for an English fighter. Calzaghi, by the way, a Welshman. Make the distinction there. But they still think, ah, but Canelo's going to take him out. Callum Smith and the UK boxing scene, I think, has changed dramatically uh, since Joe Calzaghi was on top and, and proved himself to be an all time great. Now, I go way back with Jeff Lacey. We were, we were in the Olympic trials. He, of course, made the Olympic team, and, and he was a beast as an amateur. And even coming off, he was a, a hot signee, he was a hot prospect, knocking everyone out. He won a world title, but he just caught got caught off guard with the speed and the relentlessness of Calzaghi who wouldn't let him breathe and and th that just took it out of uh, Lacey from there he just never was the same Raymond Ford here in round number three final 30 seconds good combination work but Juan Antonio Lopez able to solidify himself in this fight become more of a presence trying to get his rhythm but that is difficult as Ford is just a tough package tries again with the jab I mean, if you're gonna use chess analogies, uh, Ryan, I, I would say, you know, Ford needs to, he's kind of like the bishop. He needs to look for the for the lefts and rights going diag diagonal. And when it comes to uh, Lopez, he's more of the rook. He, he moves one way, going front and back. I'll tell you, you've gone next level on the analogy, <laughs> Sergio. Well done. Yeah, with, with Chris Mannix uh, out of the equation, you just, you're really shining. You know I beat him in chess before, right? Did you really? I did not know that. You get your cheap shots in here. Good counter. Lopez landing another left hand. 
I don't like the fact that Ford. Oh, and a lead left from Lopez. How about that? Ford is getting hit with these left hands. He shouldn't be getting hit with those. Getting lazy against a very tough opponent in Lopez. Look at Lopez in the final seconds of this round. Getting feisty. Getting blown out early. He's not getting blown out now. And maybe Lopez has won two of these rounds, perhaps. Last round, he certainly looked decent. Chris Mannix gave him the third round. So, you know, possibly right back in this fight. This is the nicest round I've seen from Ford right here. He, now he's now he's fighting like he should be fighting with speed. He landed a nice one-two. Nice one-two, getting out of the way, not standing in front of Lopez. Look at that. Boom. Stiff jab from Ford. A beautiful jab. And this is part of the maturation process, too, Sergio. We should point out, Ford is 21 years old. As a young pro, you start facing man. guys who are man. grown men. Look at this uppercut from Lopez. Fires up. He's Ford pinned up against the ropes. Ford doesn't mind being there. He can certainly spin out if he wanted to. He's going to try to punch his way out. Toe to toe now. In the final seconds of fifth round. A hard body shot by Ford just before the bell. He is in the the black with the uh, tassels. And Juan Antonio Lopez in the black and red trunks here. Round seven scheduled for eight. And Sergio, it brings up that you can be an amateur superstar, and Ford was. But you get to the pros, you're fighting a grown man. And it's different. And I wonder what we're going to see. Mark Castro is uh, one of the biggest amateur prospects in the world. He makes his pro debut in our co-feature tonight. A four-rounder just before Canelo and Callum Smith. Uh, and, and you know he's fighting another 21 year old kid but fighting in the pros is different right i mean you you will fight somebody that you think oh this guy's got no record this guy's no good no 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 most of these guys in the pros even a guy like lopez a record of 15 and 7 that's a tough tough guy that's 15 professional wins apples and oranges when it comes to pros and, and the amateurs i've seen so many amateurs that won national tournaments that even gone to the olympics and they didn't pan out at, as pros because you know you get it, it's not a nice right hook like oh, and down goes Ford. Three, Lopez, excuse me. Four, five, six. There's a check right seven, hook, right on the money right there. Eight, nine. Waiting a long time. Ten. And he waits till 10. It's wow. over. Wow. That fast. Raymond Ford discourages Juan Antonio Lopez. And this fight is over with a TKO. I'm surprised that Lopez didn't get up with, with the fan. The fans getting behind him. He was having some success, maybe winning some rounds. But it goes to show you, I'm, I'm, I say it all the time, a southpaw with a right you know hook is one of the most dangerous things in boxing. Tough, 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 a picture-perfect right hook by Raymond Ford.